Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Morning guys, it is Friday the 13th of October whilst we are filming this and it's a typical October day. It's gloomy, misty, rainy, my favourite kind of day. So we are here today for a renovation vlog and it's been a little while hasn't it since we posted a renovation vlog because I feel like I've got enough house updates to show you guys to justify this as a renovation vlog. <laughs> so go and grab yourselves your favourite drink and a blanket and let's get straight into the vlog. So before we start, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the teeth. So I had my final, what was meant to be my final dentistry appointment where they fitted a new crown here at the front and I picked up my new retainers, my final forever retainers. And then that was meant to be me done with the dentist. However, we, ran into some problems yet again. I have so much bad luck when it comes to the dentist. Like you wouldn't believe, if I was to sit here and tell you from start of my life up to now, every time I've been to the dentist and what's gone wrong, <laughs> like you wouldn't even believe me. So the temporary crown he fitted for me was yellow in comparison to my newly whitened teeth, which obviously stuck out like a sore thumb. I think I touched on it. I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but I did mention it because I didn't want you to think, ooh, what, have you done? what are you doing with empty? I was like really annoyed that they'd put on this temporary crown, which was clearly like yellow in comparison to my newly whitened teeth. And I just thought, you know, like a private dentist, why can't they just put a, a matching crown on for two weeks while you're having to wait? Luckily it was only two weeks and obviously we had to just deal with it. But can you imagine having to go to work and seeing clients face to face, like in my old nine to five job, I would have like really been self-conscious at that. Anyway, we dealt with it, okay? And I had to deal with that for two weeks. Went back for my final crown to be fitted in the same color as the rest of the teeth. The new crown was so much whiter, is so much whiter than my own teeth now. It just looked like I hadn't even whitened my teeth in the first place. And I thought, oh my God. So then that one now sticks out like a sore thumb. I am just over it. I kept stressing about it because it's a big deal to me. Like people's, well, especially me, my teeth journey, it's been a massive struggle most of my life. Like with all the things that have gone wrong with the dentists, like I've been saying. And, you know, it's like traumatizing. I have PTSD anyway when I go to the dentist. Anyway, dramas, dramas and I'm having to go back now to have a new crown fitted in the correct shade. Let's hope he gets it right the second time round. So cut a long story short. <laughs> if you're wondering why my teeth are not the same colours, what's going on with my teeth? That is what's going on with my teeth. It's really out of my control. So yeah, there's a little dentist update and yeah, we've got ready for the day. I'm loving my outfit today, you guys. I'm going to pop on the screen my outfit of the day because I have filmed this for a reel for Instagram, so I'll pop it on full length. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's get going on our errands before we get stuck in the Friday energies. <laughs> I'm back with the goods. Oh, ow, that is a workout. So let's have a little Friday haul. We always do this, don't we? It's becoming a thing on the channel. Little Friday haul. So I picked up from Aldi this morning. This morning we went to Aldi and I picked up these German salami and smoked cheese selection. Like last weekend they did a little bit of a cheese board, cheese and meats. So I'm going to do that again, just so that we've got a little snacky bits to snack on whilst we're busy in the house, me and hubby. Well, let's not forget the wine. So this is this evening's bottle. This is called the Dolce Amore. And I just love the bottle. Look how like ribbed it is. I'm hoping it's a nice one. It's very pale, which is what I love. Pork and caramelized red onion sausages. These are for our Saturday morning brunch vibes. 
I picked up some skin on fries, love these. I put paprika on them as well and a little bit more oil halfway through the cooking process in the oven. They're just oven chips and they're just brilliant. And then I'll make my own garlic mayonnaise dip with cracked black pepper and that's just a gorgeous side dish. I love crunches. What's that middle bit called? Honeycomb. Is it called honeycomb or cinder toffee? I love cinder toffee. Yeah, so I've got some crunches. So these are the specially selected Wagyu dripping roast potato flavour crinkle nut. Crinkle nut? <laughs> crinkle cut crisps. I also picked up some cinnamon buns. I would love to know how to make these. I really need to try, but if I know how to make them, I'll make them all the time. Like I said, I'll be the size of a house. So I don't like to learn to bake at the same time as I'd love to. <laughs> anyway, I popped these, not two of them, There's, they come in a pack of two from Aldi, Cinnamon Overlord, but I could just drink a chai latte with this right now. Mm -mm -mm. I picked up the Seabrooks Lattice in sea salt flavour, sea salt flavour, natural sea salt flavour, I've already opened these, because we have to try them, okay? I also nipped into Savers and picked up a Zoflora Midnight Blooms, the one of the larger ones. They had them on sale in there for about four pounds. And I think the bigger ones in B&M not long ago were like five pounds or six pounds nearly. I don't know, has Zoflora gone up in price? I felt like it had when I was last in B&M Bargains. Not sure, but whilst I was in Savers, I also picked up my monthly hair dye. So, I get so many questions on my hair colour, what dye, what I use on my hair. I used to use this nice and easy, I think it's 6A brown, it's either 6A or 6 brown, that's what I used to use. But the last time I dyed my hair, I was trying to go a little bit lighter, so I picked up this one, this exact one. So this is the Garnier Nutrice Creme and it's in the shade 6.3 golden light brown. What I'm trying to do guys is go a little bit lighter, like a light, like a dark blonde, but a light brown. I just feel like I want to go a bit lighter. So it's gonna be a work in progress. And this is the one I'm gonna to continue to use. Right, if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna go back to my normal natural color, which was the 6A. That's as near to my natural colour as possible, like a chestnut brown colour. Excuse me. But yeah, I'm actually enjoying this lighter colour. It's really coppery in the sun, which I'm actually enjoying. And I feel like if you're trying to go lighter from dark, you're going to go to that coppery, gingery stage. It's better to do it in the autumn time because them kind of colours in the hair look really, really good, don't they? Well, they do on me and uh, the colours in my wardrobe that I wear, it just really goes well together. So yeah, it's an experiment, we're experimenting and we're using this one from now on. Until I say it otherwise, I'll tell you when I do change it. Okay, is it wine o'clock yet? <laughs> Unfortunately not, we're on the water until then. All the parcels arrived today. I picked up a new outfit from Boohoo. I'm hoping it fits really, really well. I've not got time to show you right now, but I will show you in this video, probably in the morning, I'll have more time. So we'll open it together then. It's just a lounge set, but I think you'll love this one, you guys. And we'll try it on together. And I could open it now and just show you it hung, hung in, in the air, but I don't think it'll look good until we've got it on, so. I did a click and collect at Boots, and I picked up, I always forget what I've picked up at Boots, okay. My go-to Ride or Die, The Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. This is the toner that I use if you've got oily skin, then, or problematic breakout skin, this might work for you like it does for me. But yeah, it's my ride or die, and I love it. And I also picked up some Colgate Max White. So this was £12 on offer. It's usually £24, but it has got hydrogen peroxide in this toothpaste. You can use it daily. It's safe to use daily. And yeah, I'm going to keep on top of my teeth whitening by using this product. But if you guys have any other toothpastes, whitening toothpastes in particular, that you know work really, really well, please leave them in the comments down below because 
I had to do some research and this one, literally I'm just winging it with this one, this one come up saying that it was really good. And I thought if it retails at £24 then it must be really good. It looks like this, I'll leave this one linked as well down below and this again is another Charlotte Tilbury dupe. I'll put some on now but okay it looks a little bit more brownie nude than the revolution chauffeur in better lighting tomorrow in the bedroom I will show you this one in comparison to the revolution and we'll go from there but I'll leave it linked down below anyway and that, my darlings, is everything from this morning's haul. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away. First of all, I'm going to eat my cinnamon bun while it's still a little bit warm. I might have to put it back in the oven because I just will only eat them warm. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys soon, okay? Hi everyone, I'm doing a voiceover here because Ashley has got the radio on and I will totally get copyrighted but he's using his laser, as you can see it's attached to the wall, this little contraption, I'll list it in the description box for you, it's the best thing we ever bought for the renovations it just gives everything straight lines it's just brilliant as you can see he's marking out on the walls with the laser um where the paneling is going so we're doing half and half in this room what i will do is run through the plans for this room probably tomorrow start to the day we went for a walk in the woods this morning and I was just thinking I am so lucky to have this on my doorstep like it's just a vibe what a way to start the day I actually posted a quote on my Instagram actually not long ago which said if you need to be reminded what is love go out into the garden or nature and it's so true like it is like the best antidepressant I am just gushing because I just feel really really blessed and it's a great state to be in isn't it so I've just got ready for the day and I thought I would show you guys my hair so I put the box dye on my hair last night actually before I got in the shower and I just wanted to show you what it's coming up like so it's actually coming up darker than what it was so basically i think that when you put it on it just goes co more coppery until it needs doing again because it's actually come up darker and the reason i know this is because i've popped in my hair extensions and this is my previous color which is like a chestnut brown and that's the color that i used to put on so the shade that i've been putting on is a little bit lighter well it's meant to be and as you can see, it's coming up the same colour now as my hair extensions. It blends in really, really well. You can only tell from the root that it's slightly a shade lighter and it's really warm autumnal colour. Little Ralph is scratching at the door to come in, but um, he's got sausages on downstairs. So he's like, oh, sausages. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm jumping in here, Susie from the future. It's now Sunday and I did film what was in my Boohoo parcel. I've actually got it on, just I'm gonna show you in a second. I don't know why, but that footage muted itself and I'm having to film what was in my parcel again because I already included it. But I don't know what's going on. But as you can see, my hair is just going like this static. The static is unreal. I, honestly, watch me brush my hair. I've doused it in oil, trying to keep it down. 
it's just static. <laughs> Stop. I've already put oil on it. Ow. I have already put oil on the ends and it just won't stop like going like this in the air it's just so strange in my boohoo parcel was this cord set and I opened it on camera like I said the footage muted but um I wasn't impressed when I opened it up in the packet because I realized quite quickly that it's see-through you can see there you can see my hand through it so I wasn't over the moon about that but when it comes to buying fast fashion like what do we expect for the price you know like do we expect thick quality materials probably not which is why I do like to buy better but oh my god what is going on i can't keep it down <laughs> but there is some good news if we wear nude underwear with a cream outfit that's a little bit see-through or white um obviously then that solves the problem of it being see-through you don't have to worry as much so i will need to be buying some more nude underwear because i have actually run out so you'll see my black bra through this it's not intentional like i said i need some new underwear and i will be probably investing in a nude bodysuit as well for the cream outfits now i'm filming in 4k trying to get the quality better for you guys and now have another problem my memory will only hold so much because it's so high definition the footage the 4k takes up so much more space so we have to give somewhere i'm looking into upgrading equipment in the coming months so you'll just have to bear with me and then hopefully we'll get longer vlogs but basically i've got no memory to film the outfit of the day so go over to my instagram if you want to see this outfit of the day in full length but basically it's the cardigan it's got the wrap belt here and I absolutely love it on and yeah with that being said we will chuck it back to Saturday and continue the vlog so it's 10 22 and we have sausage cooking in the oven for Saturday brunch we've got hubby working away on the cloak room he's just plasterboarding at the minute aren't you Ashley and plasterboarding and insulating and just prepping really that room before the um sink and the toilet arrives ralphie's just been a renovation dog hi ralphie Excuse me. delivery and our fire is here so this is the fire i'll link it in the description box down below but it's the warm light rochester black electric stove heater it's actually a bigger one than your standard one because it's got to fit in the snug room and that's quite a big fireplace in there so um realistic log flame we're gonna see it anyway oh it's got remote control as well control heat and fire settings press button lightweight and portable cast iron effect finish and there are the dimensions just popped it on here it's got the obviously the booklet there it's got a remote control which is really handy as well so this is great if you don't want to one spare the expense of um a real log stove fire two if you don't want the mess etc etc this is not our forever home probably so that is why we're putting these in we're giving the look without the expense and without the um mess really because some people don't like the mess do they it takes extra maintenance and money to upkeep real store fires 
So this is a great way to get the look without all of that. We did it in the last house and it looked absolutely lovely. It comes with these little legs, really fancy legs. I really like them, but I'm having to wait for Ash because um, you've got to screw them in here. So they go on, so they go on like that. And then you screw them in under there, I expect. So, can't wait to pop this in situ. <laughs> Before we lose light in the house, I'm gonna give you an update on the cloakroom. So, obviously that'll be painted in, but there'll be a door frame on here soon. And I'm gonna show you the door in a minute. We're gonna upcycle and restore one of the original doors for this area. I'll go through that with you in a minute. So let's go in. Now if this isn't a Harry Potter cupboard, I don't know what it is. So this down here is in the cellar, but I'm gonna open the door because then we've got some light. Because this is temporary lighting at the moment. So that's the cupboard under the stairs. And we're gonna use that for storage, etc. And it's also access to the uh, cellar. I call it a cellar, it's like you can't even stand upright in it. It's like a half of a room underneath the house. So as you can see, we stripped, Asher stripped yesterday, the walls, because we still had that palm style wallpaper on. Who remembers the corridor all the way along here? This was the corridor. You can still see where the, f the floor, where the wall was. So you'd walk all the way down here, all the way down there. You'd be able to see into the snug room through that window. That was actually a window. We've obviously covered it up on the other side. What you're seeing in there now is just insulation. We're going to paint this. I'm probably going to paint it in metallic colour and have it as a frame. I'm going to pop some artwork in the middle of there and that's going to be above the toilet. The toilet's going to go there. So we're having Tongan Groove panelling which has been started. Hubby started this today. That's what he's been doing. So it's just raw wood at the moment. Obviously it needs painting in. We've popped some trim at the top to finish it off. And then above that is going to be um, wallpaper. And obviously we'll paint in the panelling at the along the bottom. So the panelling is going to go all the way around here and the wallpaper along the top. And then here in front of me is where the sink is going to be. So we're gonna have a little sink here and obviously a mirror and just a little clock room. So it's just a toilet and a sink. I don't know if the door's opening outwards. I think it is because I don't think we'll have the space to open it inwards because the sink will be there. So yeah, the door will open outwards and then we'll have the sink here, just a little sink. We've gone for a small sink, like for a cloak room in particular. And um, I think a small toilet, am I, am I making that up? Is there such thing as a small toilet? I just can't imagine my husband sitting on a small toilet. I think it's a regular size toilet, you guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we've made a start and then we're gonna keep the cupboard. Obviously we're gonna strip this door and paint it or whatever. And yeah, this cupboard will just be a general cupboard under the stairs. And we still need to put some lighting in this room as well, obviously. Hubby's, I think he's done some wiring today as well, not sure. But we'll see it unfold as we go along. And that's what we've done with that space. And I just think that that is a really good use of space because... We've got a downstairs toilet now for the house and nobody has to trip all trips all the way upstairs to go to the toilet, you know? And then let's just stand back. So as you can see, we built that wall with a stud wall that came out knowing we were gonna have a toilet around down there because if we hadn't have done, the, the wall would have ended there and you'd have seen the door to the toilet. So the fact that we've got this little alcove door here with the arch just covers it. 
and it's like hidden behind there and i think i said i was gonna pop a table there or some sort of little tiny console table to style up i keep forgetting you guys that we need to put radiators in yet i don't know why it's slipping my mind but it is um in fact i'm starting to remember now because uh it's getting so much colder in the house we're noticing so i'm really glad that that fireplace has arrived and yeah the radiator will be we'll have a little vintage radiator underneath that piece of artwork there i might change the artwork up there not sure this will be like a family area it's going to have a little sofa coffee table etc and we're going to have some paneling on that back wall there to frame this area because we've got a little fireplace there so it's like a little nook a little snuggly nook to chill out with so this is the door that we nearly threw away and it was actually from the kitchen it was here and it was the access into the old kitchen and it was actually here luckily hubby kept it in the garage and he actually just pulled it out not long ago he said are we using this door i said I don't think so, no, and I couldn't visualise it. So we, we, we went to throw it away and it was actually led outside ready to go to the tip in the garden, uh, getting wet. And I, I saw it one day walking past as we were going into the car and I thought, do you know what, it's actually lovely. If I strip this door back to a nice tone of wood and then just wax it down, it's got ribbed glass and clean it up. I just think it's really, really nice and it will look really, really nice round here as the door to the cloakroom. And obviously, let me just come back over here into the kitchen, just so you can see. From the kitchen island, you'll see the door. Hubby's took all the old um, contraptions, handles off and hinges, really old and rusty. So obviously we'll swap these out. We'll fill what holes need filling with wood filler. And yeah, it's gonna be a brand new door. So let's look at it. So let's look at the original. Ready for a transformation. So we've got some no nonsense paint stripper. We've got a paintbrush to slap it on with. I think you just put a thick layer on. I've got a little bowl as well, washable bowl that I'll be washing out. And yeah, let's blob some of this in, shall we? Also guys, I never thought this would last very long, this no nonsense paint stripper, but I've done the front door, the vintage front door. I did that twice. <laughs> And like it goes quite a long way, which I wasn't expecting. So yeah, I've got some in there. You won't be able to see it. It's like, <laughs> oh my God, never mind what it's like. You can imagine the consistency. <laughs> done one side of the door and then we'll do the other obviously when this bits come off we might have to do two two lots of stripping depending on how good the varnish was on this door and how old it is etc but if you remember the banister in the staircase um that was mahogany and it took it down quite a few tones you guys weren't it it wasn't ideal but the first lot of stripping did a really good job so i'm hoping it's just gonna do its thing on one lot. Thought I would quickly show you the fire in situ. And I didn't mention this yesterday, but we've actually got a couple of things updated that you don't know about, but you can probably see. But um, I'm gonna spin you around and show you the fire in situ. So ignore the furniture in this room. 
because that is not staying like that the tv in the middle of the room like that hubby is just a man and he's quite happy with this setup he's like joey our friends you know with the armchair in the middle of the room anyway the fire oh, wow <laughs> it's looking so good isn't it I'm not done styling it up yet, so we will be styling it better, but it's a start. And I just wanted to see what it would look like styled up. It's quite earthy looking in the middle of the room. Do you know when you put something in the room and you're not used to it? Because we're used to just all these white walls. And now to put something in here that's got a bit of colour, so this fireplace, which is done, it just sticks out like a sore thumb. I understand that, but we've not finished styling the room, so it will make more sense the more we add, like, the pieces to this room bit by bit. But it just looks so cosy and autumnal. I don't know if I showed you guys, but we decided on those rustic tiles that we used in the kitchen and the dog wash. So we've done the fireplace in here in those and then we use the reclaimed stone as you saw in one of the previous vlogs which I think looks really earthy and rustic. We've also got a little poker set out but like I said I will be styling this up a lot better in the coming months so we'll do that together on a future vlog but I'm just loving how rustic it looks. Let's spin round and look to the other side of the room. Like I said, this furniture is not going to stay there. But I am envisioning a big sofa on that back wall facing, obviously, this way. A little maybe side table lamp here or a floor lamp. So extra layer of lighting to go in here yet. Also, we have got, well, first of all, look at that. Just look, guys, at that. The leaves are changing <laughs> and it's getting more like orangey out there because obviously the trees, it's just beautiful, what a vibe. And then obviously the window treatments to go up, so that's going to be really, really cosy. And I'm just so excited about it. Thinking like a couple of armchairs in the window, in the bay window with a centre like side table and then my christmas tree is gonna go in here under the stairs oh my gosh oh also i wanted to mention hubby did put in some lights underneath the fireplaces there so they look really good lit up we didn't think this through i like these electric stove fires for the look but to make them look more realistic you can buy you can buy pipes so I'll link the fire down below. I'll also link these pipes, which will sit on the top. It's just a piece of plastic, basically. But it sits on the top there into the chimney. And it looks like a proper flue. And it just makes these fires look a lot more realistic, which is great. Room because we did actually do the same thing to the fire in here in the family room. It's a lot smaller, this one, this fire. We use the same tile just on the back, but here we're not gonna have a fire surround. We're gonna do a mantle like we did in the last house. You'll see that come together. I'll feature it on a future vlog, but basically we did the light up there again in there. I love how arched that is. So the stripper has taken off the first layer of the varnish. We're still looking quite orange toned at the moment. Bobby's just sanded this bit, but we've got furniture wax to work on this door with. So this is a work in progress, but I just wanted to show you what the first um, lot of stripper, paint stripper has done to this door. We'll continue all of this work into the next vlog. And I'll hopefully have an update with the front door because basically this has been a pain in my ass, but it's a work in progress. And yeah, we have now got two coats on. I'm just messing about with it, making sure it's absolutely perfect. I've got my Roman blinds ordered and I just need a curtain pole. So we'll probably be doing that in the next vlog as well. If you're still here, leave me a white love heart. And I will meet you in the comments down below as usual. But thanks for joining me in this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.